Oscar Pistorius has been found guilty of culpable homicide. That's the verdict from a judge in South Africa. The Olympic athlete is free for now. CCTV's Dan Williams joins us live from Johannesburg. Dan, what's been the reaction so far? Yes, another day of high drama at the North Hao Teng High Court in Pretoria. We already had an idea as to uh, which way Judge Masipa would go on this, uh, uh, given that, uh, that she started reading her verdict yesterday. Uh, but confirmation then, if you like, that Oscar Pistorius uh, was found not guilty of the lion's share of the charges. Let's just take you through those. Uh, as far as premeditated murder was concerned, Judge Masipa found Oscar Pistorius not guilty uh, with the charge of murder. Again, Judge Masipa found Oscar Pistorius not guilty. Uh, with culpable homicide, she found Pistorius to be guilty, the, uh, convicted uh, of culpable homicide. Uh, and then there were the three firearm charges. One, the one of uh, discharging a firearm in a restaurant. Oscar Pistorius was found to be guilty of that one, but found to be not guilty of the other two. Now, that has caused a lot of questions to be raised. Did Judge Masipa correctly lay down the law on this one? Uh, certainly some confusion uh, amongst legal minds as uh, Carol Ioli now reports. The trial done and the verdict in, the focus is now not only on Oscar Pistorius' future, but also on Judge Tokozile Masipa and her handling of the case. In what could well be a case of reverse trolls, the judge is seemingly on trial, at least in the public court, with the jury split on the merits of her verdict. She's analysed the evidence, she's applied the law to that, and it was a very meticulous reasoning that she applied. So my view is she applied the law to the facts and the finding is correct. The principle is that if there's doubt, then you don't convict a person. It's for the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you're guilty. And that's the safety catch in our system. If we don't have that, then people will be convicted all the time. The legal community is, is, is quite disquietened at the fact that she's found him effectively not guilty on the charge of murder because he didn't have intention. And the legal community, and I'm part of that community, so I speak for myself as well, we're concerned that she seems to have got the legal test for culpable homicide mixed up with the legal test for what we call legal intention or dolus eventualis. Judge Masipa describes Pistorius as a very poor and evasive witness, but she said it did not mean he was necessarily guilty. He is guilty and Judge Masipa should find him guilty because he killed someone and nobody should kill another. It seems as if Judge Masipa was afraid to to talk straight that this uh, uh, Oscar Pretorius is guilty. Some Pretoria residents remain convinced that the Paralympian athlete is guilty. The trial, which began on 3rd March, has attracted worldwide attention. Carol Oyola, CCTV. And Dan Williams is still with us. So, Dan, clearly a controversial verdict, but what about the sentencing? Will that be just as controversial? And is there any chance Pistorius will not get any prison time? Well, yes, uh, there is uh, certainly a chance of that. Uh, culpable homicide does come with it a maximum sentence of 15 years, uh, but it is highly unlikely uh, for someone to receive that. Uh, that kind of sentence. Uh, uh, from the legal experts I've spoken to, this kind of gun-related uh, culpable homicide uh, would normally carry with it a, a seven to ten year uh, type of sentence maximum, it has to be said. Uh, but it really is down to the judge's discretion. Uh, as you say, it could be a suspended sentence. Uh, one of the other legal minds said uh, it would be his uh, thought that it would, might well be a one year in prison and then thereafter a, uh, at a correctional facility. So uh, certainly it's very much just down to the judge's discretion. We'll find out in October. Dan Williams, live in Johannesburg. Thank you so much.